Hi everyone, Messi Coda back again with another asset store review. This time it's a two parter. We're inside the Nature Manufacturers Mountain Trees Dynamic Nature Pack, and also I'm playing with the Advanced Foliage Pack from Nature Manufacturer. It is the Cyber Madness sale. The Mountain Tree Pack is currently on 50% off, it's $10 only, and the Advanced Foliage Pack 1 is $15 only at 50% off. These are beautiful assets. I'm currently playing about with the demo scene that you get if you pop over to the asset store and you click a link, you can download this. As long as you've got CTS, the rocks for nature manufacture, you've got RAM and a couple of other things thrown into the pack, you can play this demo scene. So obviously I'm trying to push this demo scene to see how much I can get out of it and currently it is beautiful. But we want to play first of all with these fir trees. Are these fir trees good enough by themselves it is $20 normal price $10 at the moment on this crazy sell just how beautiful are they well sit back enjoy it and I'll see you in a second and we'll find out right, I'm inside unity I've imported in vegetation studio I've also got bakery in there because I love bakery CTS I've got Nature Manufacturers, Advanced Foliage Pack, Rock Pack, the Mountain Tree Pack. Um, I also put in the uh, the Meadow one, but that's not for this video. I wanted to play about with that. Um, I've got Ram in there, and I think that's about it. Oh, I also put in the post processing from Unity as well. So uh, not only did I import all these different packs from him, I also downloaded his demo from the asset store there's a link to it that you can get it's a free demo but to play with that demo you do need to have all these other um, assets plugged in as well don't worry I'll load up the individual demos for the advanced foliage and also for the mountain trees pack but I wanted to see if I could replicate how beautiful his video looked on YouTube now, um, I did have a problem with some of the scripts from Vegetation Studio and the shaders because it's a rather old demo and his demo hasn't been updated. So when he made the demo, everything was compatible, but obviously time doesn't sit still and Vegetation Studio has been upgraded and made better and obviously there's been changes to Unity as well. But I think that loading up this demo scene is going to give me a nice little example of what to expect. I want to show you one thing that blew my mind. If I just uh, pause it one second and go over to the game here, I'm going to click stats, get back in. Look at that FPS that I'm hitting now. That's just, I've got no optimization really going on at the moment other than what's happening with the vegetation studio. And I'm hitting over, always over 140. It's beautiful. I mean, look at the quality of this. And I'll show you in a second the. Uh, the, well, the poly count on his trees and rocks and things, it's huge. Uh, as you can see, we do have some flying grass. That's because I've had to remove some bits of uh, some game objects and that grass was sitting on top of that game object. So let's ignore that. Ignore the floating grass. As I say, this, is, this whole part here was elevated. So yeah, Im imagine, imagine that we can't climb under the ground. Well, this demo scene, I just want to play about going to the forest. This does make it, I mean, I have to say, this does feel like it's a game in itself, like that you're playing running around in the forest or something. Look at these trees. Look at those, look at that. We're in Unity, this is an Unreal or CryEngine. That texture on that tree, that is beautiful. Um, nature manufacturers starting to look more and more like mega scans. The, the more he publishes stuff, it's. Did he just wake up one morning and go, okay, let's flick it into overdrive? Because I've got his older assets. I've got his older assets, and they don't look anywhere near as good as. That. I mean, they looked good for what they were back in the day, and that's only a few years ago. But now everything just feels like it's gone up a gear. Up, 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 up three gears in one. It really, this is, this feels triple A, I have to say. Um, just mucking about in this demo scene. It is beautiful. We've got CTS running on this as well. I forgot to mention. Did I mention CTS? I think I may have done. So, this demo scene is um, 
channeling the power of some other assets. We've got the power of vegetation studio in here. We've got the power of CTS in here. But the thing that's beautiful, here's RAM, a little bit of stream coming down here. The thing that really shines are his models. Obviously, we can change our LOD grouping so that it's not such a short distance. But you can see the drastic distance difference between those LODs on that tree. Look at look at them blowing in the look at that view there. We can talk about RAM another time because you know that looks pretty, that looks beautiful. But we're not here to talk about RAM. We're here to talk about his trees, and his grass, and his bushes, and his flowers. Oh, that looks lovely. That just feels natural. And look, we're hitting 160 FPS. Imagine that you've got more optimization in this. Put a sector or something running on here. Or GPU instance or whatever. Um, oh, wow, well, man. Look at this. I... I'm, uh, I've, I, mean, I wouldn't say that I've ever been a fanboy of Nature Manufacture. I've always bought his stuff when it comes out. I see his stuff is on sale and I immediately snap it up, even though I'm not sure if I'm going to use it. Like I've got his graveyard pack. I purchased his graveyard pack the day it came out. I've never used it, but it was just so beautiful when it came out. I wanted to buy it. So there's a load of stuff that I've got from Nature Manufacture that I haven't even used in a project before, but it's just pretty and I want it. Thankfully, I was gifted the Meadow Pack from Nature Manufacture, so I'm gonna review that one next. Um, and I was gifted also these trees from Nature Manufacture for a review. Now, I would like to say that normally, because always, no matter if, you, if I've been gifted something from a publisher or if I've purchased it out of my own pocket, the review is gonna be the same. There is no uh, difference, like if somebody gifted me something, I do not feel an obligation to give it a positive review. I actually think that's giving a disservice to the developer and to the buyers because how can they improve if I don't give constructive criticism? I'm at the moment trying to find something to find fault. I would have said that this is too high res. I would have said that his pack is too high quality and not usable for a game. But this is the first time in this demo I popped down below 130 FPS and it was when I was back there, and I've gone back, here we go, here. This plant here, I've got all of these trees in view. I went below 130. So I, if you optimize, if you use things like Vegetation Studio, if you use other things like uh, Sector or whatever, you can, or that uh, billboard in, uh, imposter stuff, whatever it is, you could get your FPS even higher. So I can't even argue that this stuff is too high quality. It's just pretty. All right, let's turn off the post-processing and pop in to the demo scene to see what difference that makes. All right, so first things first, we don't have that, you know, the smoothing out, the anti-aliasing, the blur going on. And if I mush my face up, you can see, if I go this close, you can see that the grass is not, doesn't look like a, a 4K photo. It's blurred. It's a, they're simple, they're not the advanced meshes, it's just an image on a transparent background. And as you look at it, look, there you go, that's always what you're gonna end up at the end of the day. And that's why you're getting, at the moment, 200 FPS, 240 FPS, 230 FPS, like looking down at that. So, let's be honest. In your game, you're up about this high, walking around. So, these are amongst, like, these, are, I'm gonna say there's two guys at the moment on the asset store that I would buy my nature from and that's nature manufacturer and the other one is turbo scalper I find it hard now to compare between the two it used to be turbo scalper was that was it if you that was turbo scalper was your go-to guy for grass and plants flowers and stuff and nature manufacturer is really competing into that I mean, look at that. That looks pretty. So between the two of them, I would say, um, yeah, Nature Manufacturer and Turbo Scalper, they're up there. That, those are the two guys that I buy my my plants. My, they're the guys. They're my guys that I would go to if they were a shop uh, and they were a plant center. So 
if you're going to go with the wife and the kids and you say let's get in the car let's go down to the shops and get some plants for the garden I would be either going to the nature manufacturer shop or I'll be going to the turbo scalper shop currently I'm reviewing the nature manufacturer shop and I have to say that with the cyber madness sale that's going on with everything at 50% off it's a no-brainer it's a no-brainer pop down to your local nature manufacturer garden center and pick up some assets right let's pop into the actual demo scenes specific to these assets because we may be cheating a little bit by throwing in CTS and throwing in RAM and the rocks pack and all the other things in this scene so let's go straight into the mountain trees demo scenes I'm inside nature manufacturers demo scene of the mountain trees dynamic nature pack this is normally $20 it's currently $10 on the cyber madness sale it is a tree or is it like eight trees in this pack we've got some flying trees over here in the corner got no idea what that's all about I love these eight trees we've got different variations of these eight trees so if I look at these oh, these, these are gonna make you feel nauseous the way they just keep flying around the place so let's pop over to these ones which aren't flying these ones are, are standing still like good little trees should so as you see your growing evolution of your tree here look at them and the bigger your tree you get the more detail you've got in your tree the more verts you're getting some of these trees you go up to 18k some of them you know, are happy 4k for the tree including the leaves now the LODs on these are fantastic we go like halves and then quarters and you go down to pretty much nothing and those nice little billboards making sure that hey you've got no impact on your FPS whatsoever I mean look at this look at this now I know there's nothing else in this scene but I'm talking about just under 700 FPS for a view full of trees blowing in the wind it is lovely it is lovely and the quality on this bark is outstanding I have to say I've owned I own pretty much all nearly all of nature manufacturer stuff and I used to buy his packs as soon the first day they would come out on sale even if I would never use it to be honest I've never used the graveyard pack I got that when it came out on day one I've never used it and it's beautiful I also own his um, other pack which is like that seasonal one where I, sh I saw the videos and you had uh, the sun and then the snow and then ice I loved that I bought that I've hardly ever used that as well but the thing is I've just got them because they're so pretty and I know one day I might need them and then you look at these packs compare these to what he made a few years ago the leap in quality is outstanding it's like I'm looking at mega scans it really does this is proper AAA stuff and I'm inside unity it's scary to believe that unity is now coming such a long way and I'm not playing about with the fancy new uh, shader render pipeline stuff this is just standard unity I want to import that in the high def one and run this dem high def demo scene you get the normal standard demo scene you get a high def demo scene and you get a lightweight demo scene as well to play with so I don't want to I want to open that one up before we close this this little video uh, look at the snow on there look at the snow on the park as I say yeah I get eight trees eight trees for 20 bucks let's forget about the, the fact that it's a 50% off for the moment so what do I get for 20 bucks I get eight fir trees and that's the same tree but obviously here growing bigger and bigger and bigger you've got you know, wind blowing the tree you got it doesn't feel very realistic it feels very pretty look at the snow here on the bark and what I love about these trees what I love about these trees is the level of detail that we get look at that knot in here let me just mush my face right up into here look at that look at that it is wonderful oh that is beautiful and there's one problem because these trees are so beautiful and the bark the detail on this bark is so exquisite there's one problem with this tree is that if I want to chop down this tree and have you know a tree now with a stump on or if that tree fell in the wind and it's cracked and then you know it's got torn there I don't have a version of it and if I went and got somebody else's fir tree it wouldn't match it wouldn't feel right so that's all that's missing in this pack is to have some that's all that's missing in this pack is to have just some chop down trees maybe some stumps that's it that's all I wanted extra in this pack 
and then I'd be a happy badger. Look at that. Look at this one here. The leaves that have fallen down. It's wonderful. It really is. I have to say that I'm trying to find fault with this pack. I'm trying to find faults. Trying to find things I don't like about it. And all I can find is the fact that I want more. I want more. But it's a cheap pack. It's so it's like even at twenty dollars, it's ridiculously cheap for the quality you get. You're going to be paying ridiculously more than that if you're going to go over to Mega Scans. You're going to be paying far more than that if you want to pop over to Mega Scans for the same quality models and trees. Now, there's only one other problem with this pack, and that's this little badger here. This little badger. He needs to come down a bit so that he's sitting on this branch that's all that's the only problem maybe he should be sitting there and he's poking out of there that's it this whole pack i found one floating floating branch that's it i wanted i felt expecting to find more because normally they're all just floating about here they're not connected and they're blowing around but that's it that's one i found one only look at this here the bark here 5k his lods drops it down half then down to 700 He's fantastic. I love this optimization. And his leaves, we've got here 1900, uh, we've got 1800. And when we go to some of the really nice, fancy, complex ones, uh, let me find one. If we go to, if we go to a nice, big, fancy one, we go to this one, maybe? We'll find one. Look, there was one that is like, crazy big crazy big here we go this is the one so this first standalone advanced first standalone cheap so if I'm looking at this I've got 13,000 verts for this tree and uh, just under 6k for the for the uh, bark and when I drop down here to the LOD 3 I've gone two and a half and obviously we've got that fancy billboard at the end but it doesn't you don't feel any impact for that you don't feel any impact it doesn't feel like oh no now um, you know oh it's gone everything's gone slow no it doesn't feel like that at all so let me just throw this one in here he is this badger this is a high performance tree he, he, he's beautiful though look at him look at this tree Look at you. Look at I love you. I want to just go and hug you. What a beautiful tree is. I've got no idea why those are floating in the background. They're just freaking me out. Look at that. It's freaking me out. Floating. I don't know what I don't know what happened here. I don't know what happened in this demo scene, but I think I might be hallucinating. This is my this is my score I'm gonna give this one. Giving this pack four and a half out of five. I am suitably impressed. I want to see an update in the, the coming soon with some chopped down trees some fallen trees that's it that's all i want in this pack and it would be five stars from me beautiful well done it is 50 percent off ten dollars on the asset store get it while you can otherwise you're going to be paying full price of twenty dollars well done nature manufacturer cool blimey i wanted to, i wanted to find lots of problems with this pack and i could only find a handful not even that, a couple, not even a handful, a couple of problems with this pack. Well, there you go. If you do like these videos and you want to see more, click on that big juicy red subscribe button down below to all of your friends, your neighbours. The Messy Coder, he is, that's me, over on Twitch, or the w.twitch.tv slash The Messy Coder. On Fridays and Saturdays, it's 9pm GMT, it's about 4 o'clock p.m. Um, if you're on the uh, Eastern Time over in the States, and that's normally... 8 o'clock in the morning, the next day in the future, if you're over in Australia. Wow, time travel, freaky stuff. So if you do like it, click it. Till next time. If you want to see more of my crazy videos, click on the left side of your screen now. And down below, there's that big juicy subscribe button. And right next to it is the magic bell that if you click it, it will tell you if I've got a new video coming out. Till next time.